All right, guys. You know me and Dodges. We got another Dodge that came in the other day. How about a Ram Charger, huh? These are getting harder and harder to find. This one here is a two-wheel drive. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a 318 with a three-speed automatic. Uh, it does have some rust in the rockers and in the quarters, lower quarters, which is pretty normal on these trucks. Uh, I've restored one that had some rust. It's common. You just want to try and find one that ain't as bad as this one. But we have manual windows someone stole the speakers well they drilled quite a few holes in there for speakers uh, automatic on the column it's got 58,000 so it's probably 158,000 miles like I said automatic aftermarket CD player heat and AC control this was a Royal SE. I kind of figured it was with all these chrome, chrome controllers. No owner's manual. It's got the center console. Armrest is broke. It's got the cloth, tan interior. Uh, it did have the spare tire back there, but it was taken out of it. It's a shame it didn't have the roll bar in it. Some of these have come with a roll bar, and they're extremely rare and worth some good money. So if you ever find one in a junkyard, grab it, because there's someone out there looking for it. Uh, tan dash, I'm not too fond with the tan. Uh, whenever I try and restore these, I either go black or red. I don't like blue. I don't like tan. They did some in green uh, in the 70s. And I don't remember if they carried the green on into the 80s or not. But I know they did 70s in green with green dash, carpet, and all that stuff. But I, I like black and I like red for interior. So when I restore these, I always try and put that interior in it. Uh, it's got the tripod mirrors on the doors. I don't like these mirrors. I like the ones that have the cover over the mirror that mounts right around here. Those are the doors I like to use. I have used those doors and I weld up the holes and put the other mirrors on it. Let's go ahead and look under the hood. Uh, the grill has got some dam. Uh, excuse me. The grill has got some damage, which also got the hood. The front bumper is missing, and also the ram's head is missing. Which, if you ever find any of those, they're worth some money. Uh, let's see, yeah, 5.2. So we have a 318 V8 with a automatic. I uh, don't know if this runs. I'm going to try and start it this week because it is in line to get inventoried. I'm just running on down this line here. So this one's coming up. Uh, we'll see if this one runs. Doesn't look too bad. So this might be a pretty good candidate. Well, I guess you could use that for a battery hold down. Never seen that before. It's 
got green antifreeze in it. Well, that's always a good sign. And it looks like the compressor is no good. Yep, it's seized. And they disconnected the smog pump, which is good because they're junk and I never use them. I take them off. Uh, it's a little low on oil, but it's got oil in it. And it looks pretty good. A little dark, but it's definitely not sludgy black. So that is always a good sign. And it's really hard to kill these motors anyway. I've, I haven't killed one yet, and I'm pretty rough on mine. They're made to be driven. Uh, unfortunately, these fenders have got some damage, which sucks, because we really need some fenders. We got a lot of requests on these fenders. This one here's got a big rust spot in it. But other than that, it's got a few good pickings on it. So... That'd be a good one to keep. Appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one.